if he can get past Jaja right here, he's uh he's going to that top eight. That top eight winners. Oh, I didn't see if you guys got the poll prediction thing set up, but uh, if we have mods in the chat, they could handle that or advance this fast enough. But anyway, game one, Pokemon Stadium 2, you guys already know. I really want to see uh, how long it takes Noku here to figure out what's going on with this Kirby, because I think Jeja, like, when he knows he can just get away with a bunch of uh, unfamiliar stuff with Kirby, like, he just tends to snowball his opponent, as you can see already. Already looking really strong. Oof. Great spacing on the back here. Oh my goodness. He's out of here. Jeja, man. Complete control. Already. You know, this actually might not be too bad for uh, for Kirby right here. He can crouch under a lot of these hitboxes, it seems like. Oh man, these combos are going crazy already. If you got that downer to connect, that was definitely another stock. One of the best things about Kirby's downer is... Uh, if it hits you once, it's not hard for him to hit you with the second down air. No, not at all. And once that happens, you're most likely dead with like a lot of characters in this game. All right, Noku's trying to throw him off stage so you can get an early stock. Oh, what a catch! Right, right before the actual hitbox of the final oh. cutter comes in. Ooh, that was close too. If he got hit by the down air, it would have been curtains. Almost getting that fair one to connect into the smash attack. Yeah, he's uh he's trying to see if he can snipe these recoveries from Curry, but I think the multi jumps are really throwing off his edge guard attempts already. Okay, opportunity here. Nice, nice catch. Put him in the air with the flamethrower and then cut him out with that up smash. Alright. At the ledge though. Ooh, I like the dash attack. If he does a neutral get up there, the dash attack's pretty strong and it's active for a long time, so it could probably possibly kill even Charizard. Speaking of Charizard, we got that Rage. You already know. Oh, there. <laughs> right there, he's just running to him with this Fireball. <laughs> Big dash attack. Probably crucial for uh, Jeja to take that stock before Rage Charizard could do anything too ridiculous. Nice. Four there into the grab. It's a great percent already. Can you go low? Okay. The Tether yep. is actually helping his recovery a lot. He's able to avoid getting downered in some pretty bad spots, but he still has to do something about this stock. Okay. Yeah, something else that Jed is doing really well too. He's mixing up his landings with the double jumps a lot. Like, he's not really committing to all the jumps all the time. Like, he'll do like two jumps, then stall a little bit, and then just kind of float back to the ground. Up throw on the platform. Yep, definitely gonna be enough. Okay. Noku, opportunity here. He definitely wants to bank on this Charizard getting some early uh, kills right now. If he can make it happen. Oh, back throw back air. Very deadly setup. But Charizard, oh! oh. Jeja, he's in trouble now. Yeah, he's got he's to watch the landing here because he's getting rid oh, every man. single time. He's got those multiple jumps, but he's got to be able to use them at the ledge. Finally gets the final cutter above the ledge. Enough opportunity to get Noku off of him to come back. Excellent neutral shield, man. When you see that... Dash attack is unsafe. What an oh. excellent punish, especially with another back out of shield. Okay, he's going low. Oh no, oh no, you went for it all. Oh, yeah, he no, did. No, no. It was not worth you, it. He got so greedy for that. That's unfortunate. He was definitely bringing that all the way back. But great stuff. Great stuff to Jeja. Good capitalization. He saw Noku overextended heavily going for that. Uh, Looks like he went for a down air, like a fast fall down air to see if he can catch a jump or something. But uh, easy, easy, easy catch for Jeja there. But not bad from Noku. Definitely looked really good at the end of that game. Especially with the Charizard. Yeah, I think it was just that last interaction. Like, I think if that were Noku, you have to be a little bit more cautious when you're going for those low recovery. Yes, the tether really helps, but keep in mind that Kirby can go down there with multiple jumps and catch that tether or catch that catch the opportunity where you do go like all the ledge. So you kind of have to respect Kirby, especially when you're off stage, because he does have those multiple yeah. jumps to help him out. Yep. The tether is helping though, because Kirby has to go pretty low to catch Ivysaur. Yep, pretty low indeed. That's if he does like the tether from like far away. I mean. All right, running it back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Not super surprised. He did a good job of bringing it back with the Charizard in the last game. 
Honestly, if you can just get a much better start here, I could see him taking uh, this game. Ooh, Sorry. Warrior one to the first match, so strong. Unfortunately, and, uh, that better start not gonna work out so well. Yeah, I mean at least it's well not as huge of a def deficit as the first game. I say that, but he's getting comboed. <laughs> Charizard, yeah. Charizard getting eaten up by these Kirby aerials right now. Yeah, and the Noku was gonna be at a low recovery angle, so it would have been really good for Jajar just to come out there with the downer. Yep, timed it perfectly here, so you're able to make that recovery when you do go for the down special. Yep. Oh, almost. I thought when you hit that forward air, landing forward air, that was going to be like another smash attack. But... Nice. nice. Good for good for Jeju to understand how low he has to go below the stage. That way you can avoid getting hit by something from Charizard, especially that forward tilt. Oh, punish out of shield? Punish yeah. Here. Yep, that's yeah. easy. Easy, easy punish. If you block the flare blitz, you're in so much delay that... Pretty much any attack can hit Charizard. All right, this is already looking pretty bad for Noku. Jeja up three stocks to one, not slowing down whatsoever. Racked up 61% on the Ivysaur already. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oh my goodness. Destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. I don't even know what else to say. He definitely DI'd in on the down air, it seemed, just so he wouldn't get spiked off stage. And then Jedi just saw the opportunity. Get that easy down smash kill. And uh, man, that's a three stock. That's a three stock with Kirby. <laughs> yeah, that was. It was just a situation at the ledge. Kirby's down smash and forward smash is really, really strong. So when you're caught in that kind of Kirby combo loop and you're not ready for it with the SDI or the proper DI, Kirby will definitely kill you at really early percents, especially at, well, I think, what, Ivysaur was at 70%? So, 